What is happening? We are back. Welcome to Be The Ant Preparedness. Y'all see me okay? Yeah, I know. I don't have the phone holder again. I keep forgetting about it. My apologies. Uh, anyway, wanted to start off today thanking everyone. Are you kidding me? Thanking everyone uh, who commented on the uh, video we did about the trucker strike. Uh, we all can listen to the news and what the news tells us, uh, but listening to the uh, comments of people that are in the know, have experience with such things like that, it always really helps. Sorry, I'm trying to make you guys a little more comfortable. <laughs> Is that better? We'll see. Eh, sucks. Sucks, sucks. High production value. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, thank you to everybody who has, uh, who's commented on that. I appreciate it. And if you're watching the videos, yeah, read the comments. Um, you know, if you hear something about doctors doing this and blah, 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 but then you can actually hear from doctors and say yes or no, it really helps out a lot getting people. It's like, I've would love to hear from, uh, you know, what's in the news right now as far as the poll workers and all that. Would love to have some of the poll workers comment on here. Uh, Cause yeah, we, we hear certain things, but as far as knowing, yeah, we don't really know. None of us were there, but anyway. Oh yeah, where's my notes? Had to make notes again today. I'm getting old and forgetful. Uh, what I wanted to start with today, where is it at? Oh, biggest thing. Uh, wanted to bring up to everybody, made sure I get this one in. Sorry, I keep checking to make sure you guys can see me okay. Um, the mainstream news right now is all tore up because Trump has not conceded the election. Um, they are talking about how he should just go ahead and make the call and congratulate and move on. This is never in the history of we had this and blah, 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 blah. It's really funny though, what, 20 years ago? We had something similar to this. Uh, we didn't know who the president was going to be until, what was it, December? Is that right? It was like 35, yeah, it would have been in December. Uh, 35, 37 days, whatever it was. And, and what this is, I've, I've made a video before, uh, made the video before encouraging you guys to start a journal. And, uh, gee, I'm not some 13 year old girl. I don't need to write a diary. I, I hear you. Okay. But, um, you listen to mainstream news right now. And nothing like this has ever happened, and this is unprecedented. Uh, who are they talking to? The people that are old enough to know? No. They're talking to the millennials and whatever they called the next generation, you know, those ones that are in high school and college right now. And they're trying to rewrite history. That is what they are doing, is they are trying to show how horrible Trump is and all this other stuff. And this has never happened. We're supposed to have, you know, a changing of power that just is nice and simple and gentle. And uh, to those younger kids, they, they might have heard about it, but they're just putting on their blinders, right? Or putting in their earplugs. Speaking of earplugs, boink. Um, so what I'm saying is, for those of you once again, keeping that journal and record what's going on, okay? So that your future generations or, or whoever can have firsthand accounts of what's going on as it's going on. You know, date the top of the page and and this is what's going on in the news. And, and, and put your opinion in there too. Your grandkids and so on and so forth are gonna to wanna to know your opinion of everything that's happening. But what that allows us to do is 
we can be writing about something and you know our future generations are like whoa wait a second i never heard anything about that yeah because history is written by the winners right um if you look at every war that's ever ever been uh every war that's ever been waged if you read about it the good guys are the ones that won and the bad guys were the ones that lost <laughs> And that's just kind of the way it is. Uh, now, I know that not every single, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, and, and so far, as of right now, uh, it looks like Biden's going to be the guy. Like I said, do I believe there was uh, some hanky-panky? Oh, absolutely. But in a court of law, like I've said before, it's not what you know, it's what you can prove. Uh, so that is what this is, this whole thing is going to come down to is what they can prove. Um, but yeah, you keeping that that journal, those notes, uh, that way you can write down that yeah they were saying in uh, Pennsylvania this was happening, and the night of the election in Georgia they had a water main break and it did this and. And up in Michigan, he was leading by so much. You, you guys see where I'm going with this. You guys, instead of them just looking at the abbreviated version, you guys have the ability to record that stuff as it's happening and your opinions on that as it happens. Uh, but yeah, it just cracks me up to hear mainstream media talk about how... Uh, uh, easy killer. Uh, this is unprecedented. This has never happened. It's like it was 20 years ago. Okay, <laughs> it's not that far in the past, at least for ones of us that are a little bit older. But yeah, put yourself in the shoes of that 20-year-old, 25-year-old. You know, they were babies when that happened before. Uh, so yeah, they, they don't have that first-hand knowledge. Okay, whatever. What else? What else? What else? Uh, okay. Another thing, uh, those of you that live in Georgia um, or have family, friends, things like that in Georgia, January 5th, they are having a, another election or runoff, whatever they call it, uh, for the two Senate seats that are open there. And that is going to be hugely, hugely important. If everything stays the way it is right now, and old Slow Joe gets into office, the Senate is going to be the only thing that stops the Green New Deal and the uh, uh, what, what common sense gun laws and and all this other stuff. That's going to be what's going to be stopping those things. So if you live in Georgia, have family, friends in Georgia, please go out and vote beg them to go out and vote, even if they believe that it's going to be a landslide, whichever way. And that's that's another thing that kick, kills me, is, you know, all these polls before the election, what they say in Wisconsin, that they were projecting that Biden was going to win by 17%. That is stupid, unheard of. 5% they call a landslide, okay? But if you're a Trump supporter and you were living in Wisconsin and you're hearing that Biden's going to win by 17%, I can understand how people would think, well, what's the point of me even voting? So I believe that they got a lot of people to stay home uh, and not go out and vote. And as we've, as we know so far, the vote is pretty tight, okay? Uh, so yeah, media is helping the Democrats. We all know that. That's not even like a conspiracy theory. I don't even have to break out the tinfoil hat for that. That's blatant. There's there's no question about that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Georgia is going to be hugely, hugely important. If you live there, please vote. If you have family or friends there, please urge them to vote. Um, get out there and, and make sure that there's no doubt whatsoever. So we got that. What else we got here? Um, okay. 
uh, no matter what the outcome is after all is said and done, I think most people can agree that we need a little bit of uh, election reform. Um, and since the way votes are tabulated, etc., is on a state by state basis, I believe that everyone that is hearing this right now, wherever you live, write, call, go to the town hall meetings, excuse me, of your uh, state legislature and tell them you want cameras watching the ballots being counted. You want multiple poll watchers in there watching what's going on. Uh, Democrat, Republican, whatever, everybody should want a fair election, however it ends up. Um, and since that is a state-by-state -state thing, it is going to take all of us contacting our state rep representatives individually and letting them know that, yeah, we want something more than what we have right now. Uh, yeah, the whole thing where they're kicking the poll watchers out and they have to stand uh, 25, 50, I've heard 80 feet, I've heard different numbers back away it's like well wait a second that right there that sounds hinky right there right uh having those cameras above looking down uh that helps you know I, i've mentioned in other videos uh but yeah it's going to take everybody contacting their uh state legislatures to let them know what they want and i think i had one more thing yes okay now this one this is interesting I mean, that's all interesting, right? I wouldn't say it if it's not interesting. But anyway, uh, in the state of Ohio right now, there is a bill that is being put forth in the state house um, that wants to protect people who could be caught up in the middle of a riot, okay? so that they can use a certain amount of force to protect themselves. Uh, so that if you have a CCW carrier and he is, or she is, forgive me ladies, uh, all of a sudden she takes a wrong turn, he takes a wrong turn, doesn't realize where he's at, and he's in the middle of one of these riots where they're burning and tearing everything down. Um, if he has to protect himself and use his weapon to protect himself, that he will not go to jail for that. I guess there, and I don't know the, uh, all the little points of this. I've heard there's a 17 year old up in, gosh, where'd they say? I can't remember where it was at. But he is in jail right now, awaiting trial, if I remember right. If you guys know about this, please comment on it. I was just hearing bits here and there. Uh, he's awaiting trial um, because he brandished a handgun when he found himself surrounded in a riot. Okay? He did not shoot anybody, but it's, you know, menacing and everything else. Um... So that is being put forth, and also more protection for the police uh, during the riots and stuff like that. Uh, I, when I was listening to that today, they kept talking about Florida as well. I'm not sure if uh, Florida already has that or if they have similar bills being put out. Let me see, legal protection laws. Uh, oh can't read while I'm driving, which is probably not a good idea. Don't do that, kids. Don't read and drive. Make sure you know where you're going. Uh, okay, a harsher penalties for people who uh, take part in the riot so that, uh, yeah, because right now it's like a misdemeanor one or something. Um, but harsher penalties for people who take part in those. Uh, and if you, if it's found out that you destroyed a government building or what was the other or maybe it was a school yeah uh yeah you're talking felony now 
which I don't see anything wrong with that. As far as what I've heard about this bill so far, um, I kind of dig it. Yeah, if for some reason uh, uh, my family and I find ourselves uh, in the middle of something, uh, I don't want to rely on the police taking care of us because I guess there was a lady in Virginia in July of this year who was in the middle of just that. Um, she was uh, had her daughter in the car and they were going somewhere and all of a sudden their vehicle was surrounded. She called 911 and the dispatcher told her that uh, these people <laughs> have what? What did it? Ha oh my gosh! How, how was it? How was it put? People have been authorized to be there. That's okay that they're there. And she's trying to tell the dispatcher that you know something could go on here. And the dispatcher is pretty much telling her that the police have been told to just monitor, don't interfere, and that if she has an issue with it, she has to call the. Uh, courthouse yeah the uh, yeah the city hall um it's like are you kidding me this woman's calling 911 uh and you're telling her that you can't do anything give the mayor a call and maybe he'll do something about it um and with this I also wanted to bring up something else as of right now the information I have on this um so far I'm like okay sounds like a good idea uh, whenever you guys hear of a law, a bill, something like that, you guys know me. I'm all about planning and contingencies and thinking ahead and all this other stuff. Um, think about how this could be misconstrued and used against who it's there to protect. According to Ohio state law, a riot consists of four or more people uh, with the malicious intent, you know, all the legal jargon of doing some damage. Okay. Um, could this be used, um, for a peaceful protest of something that you agree with? Okay. You're out there protesting and all of a sudden, uh, one of the people in the group as small as four, uh, does something, you know, he's being an idiot, does something he's not supposed to do. And now all of a sudden you're in that group and you could be charged with felonies over this. So it's always good to think about, instead of just hearing the good, think about how this could be used against you if you were in a situation. Uh, so, uh, like I said, always, always think about it. Don't just, you know, that's, that's how we got in trouble with a lot of the laws and everything everything like, yeah it's not you know patriot act right uh how many people did that sucker in yeah we need to track the terrorist and then come to find out you know everybody in the united states is being tracked and your phone calls are being listened to so uh we'll wrap it up there uh if you guys have information about the things i mentioned please comment down below uh and uh if you have any more information about the trucker uh trucker strike yeah give us your, give us uh, what you know opinion fact whatever let us know um i tend to agree with some of the comments they were saying that you know hey these guys have families um and and i can relate with that um i mentioned the trucker thing yesterday because i just heard it and i was putting it out there to try to get some feedback from you guys and you guys came through awesomely and i thank you so with that, I think we will end this, and thank you, everybody, and we will talk to you after a while.